What is the biggest sports derby in the world? Perhaps it's the El Clasico, the Manchester Derby or the Ashes. For today, you can forget that. It is Marty's against Ike's in the FNB Varsity Cup presented by Sign Up International. Round number five. And this is absolutely crucial that you don't have a knock-on in situations like this. You've got to control the ball, and the Marty's have not done that. Number three on his feet. Give him the win, Shimmy. Big question around a penalty that's very kickable. Does Lubber kick a goal, or does he kick for the corner? Nah, take the points. Gun barrel straight then from Rowan Lubber. And uh, first points then to the Aki Tigers. That's great work. Well, good start there, and it's all started from that kick from Rob Anderson. Tackler, fair release there, please. Well, there's so many penalties they're giving away at the moment. Now, yes, Craig Berry, he's capable of doing just what he's done now. Brilliant rugby player, this youngster. Just the sort of guy you need to change the course of a match. Yeah, absolute magic from Craig Berry. Marty's kept hitting it up the blind side. UCT were waiting. Realized there was no one home. A little grubber, a well-weighted grubber. Yeah, just a pickup and a spectacular individual try okay, from Craig Berry. What a player, Craig one Berry. One one Excellent one try. And here comes a card. Uh, just quiet. We've got to get out the tackle zone. Uh, uh, the penalty has gone zone. against Hendrik Lagerkorn. And uh, he's in the naughty the chair zone. for a little while. So that doesn't help the UCT cause at all. You've got to have a look at Craig Berry coming short. So Brandon Mill has got a, a decent scrum for him to ignite his backs now. Here comes Chris Smith. And Smith is close. Does he get over? Yes, is. Rushavenga just bounced a little while, but he managed to get it just over the line. And that's not great defense that from UCT. Drop attempt, this time from Rob Anderson. And it's straight as a die. And Rob Anderson just trying to chip away at that lead. Just important for Ike is that Marty's don't get too far away. Now, you're finished for the Mava. Lovely pass to Duncan Saul. Flying down the touchline. Has he got over? Yes, he has. It's exactly what the Tigers didn't want, was to concede points at the tail end of this first half. No, not at all, but it was great work again from Martins. I don't know who gave that left pass, but Rob Anderson had came to close up that skip pass around. And off he goes. Does Tony Singer, can he get over? Yep. Again, Rasta Rashivenga exactly in the right spot to make the call. Yeah, that's a great try from Yasha Tarusenga. A nice solid scrum. And he did well to reach over and score the try. To go by Anderson. The long pass. Lot of fun. Straight into Quivers from Dake's hands. They're going to fly over and the try scorer will be... Uh, Michael has not. Michael rather has not. A gift try for the centre three-quarter. Uh, it's a gift from Michael Hesner, but just that charge down, he managed the charge down and the pickup. Well, UCT have really got to get up a little bit quicker, but they haven't managed to do that yet. Comes another try, and the Marty's and the former Stefan Stryker have got what might just be the final nail in the coffin. Well, Stefan Stryker has got plenty of pace. We saw him make a line break earlier on. You spoke about it earlier, Shimmy. The ball carriers of the Marty's have been more effective than those of the Ikees today. Paul Devet, lovely little step there from the scrum out. Now there's a chance, and surely it'll be a try. The second one for Duncan Sal. Well, the game upstairs, there might be a forward pass there. Michael Hasner doesn't look happy. Last pass, please. If not, we are awarding a try. If it's not forward. Rasta? Yes, Joey. No clear evidence that a pass went forward. Okay. You may want to try. So I may want to try. <laughs> no problem with that then for Duncan Saul. David, lovely pass from him. A charge for the line. Once again, great tackling. Smith looking to go over. And it is Chris Smith who gets his second try of the match. Did a great day for the flyer. Yeah, again, another error by Ike. He's been punished. The Marty's beat the Ikees by 47 to 16.